Counseling. In this modern world, counseling is a very important activity in all the endeavors of the individuals. People nowadays seek counseling for marriage, childbirth planning, children's school and college admissions and seeking jobs. The above are the counseling for the basics of the life. Relationship counseling, medical counseling and business counseling are the important counseling activities. There are big counselors and they charge very big amount for their counseling. If any firm follows these counseling, they will definitely get a very good profit. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 14. Where there is no counsel, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. If you see any projects, for example construction of airports, harbors, bridges and any other big structures, there are a lot of planning required. From site planning, design planning, structural planning, material planning, labor planning, schedule planning. It requires a lot of coordination between the different divisions. Then only the projects can be completed successfully. For smooth function of the works, there are a lot of coordinators work in between these teams. In our day-to-day -day life also, we require a lot of counseling for our daily activities. Parents are the counselors to their children. Teachers are the counselors to their students. Bosses are the counselors to their employees. Leaders are the counselors to their subordinates. God's counsel in our lives. Exodus chapter 33 and verse 14. And the Lord said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Here we are getting a promise from the Lord that his presence will be with us wherever we go and he promised us to give us rest. In this world what we require is peace and rest after all the days of our hard work. Psalms chapter 32 and verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, I will guide you with my eye. Here we are getting a promise that our Lord will instruct and teach us in which way we should go. He will guide us always with his own eye. That means his eyes will be always focused on us, as how the parents' eyes are always focused on their children. Job chapter 12 and verse 13. With him are wisdom and strength. He has counsel and understanding. Our God is a great counselor. He is the source of all wisdom and counseling. If we need any help or guidance, we can approach to our Lord and ask his counsel and guidance. Verses of the day. Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 20. Listen to counsel and receive instruction, that you may be wise in your latter days. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 22. Without counsel, plans go awry, but in the multitude of counselors they are established. Prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we come to your presence with praise and thanksgiving heart. We thank you for this new day. Lord, we thank you for today's Bible study. As we have seen, counsel belongs to you. You are our best counselor. You always instruct and guide us in our daily lives. So many times we face hardships when we go on our own ways. Dear Lord, bless us, O Lord, and help us to come to your presence and ask your guidance and counseling in whatever things we are doing. Please bless our home and our country. Psalms chapter 73 and verse 24. You will guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. We submit ourselves into your governance and authority. Please bless us and guide us in the way we should go. In the most wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we pray, Amen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment and share.